Hey, this is Steve Domenico here with Chris Montino fighting CES MMA 47 on November 17th. This man, four on one, coming back for redemption after your first loss. Uh, back in, when was that? Back in August. Um, what's going on, buddy? You experienced your first loss and you're getting to come back and, uh, and you know, and get back in the winning track. Yeah, What's man. going on? Yeah, man, I've just been training, training hard, training, uh, training every day with all my teammates, going cross training, doing all the, all the things I'm supposed to be doing to get better for this one. I was going to take a little more time, but they, when they, when uh, CES asked me if I wanted to fight, I just can't stay away, man. I can't stay away. I want to get back in there and uh, redeem myself from that poor showing because that wasn't me, man. You're going to see everything that I've been trying to show everybody what I am and you're gonna see it this fight. I'm gonna come in, I'm not gonna talk. I'm not gonna talk too much. I'm just gonna come in and do this fight. I'm gonna fight, I'm gonna try to finish the fight quick, go home, see my, see my family, see my girl, and um, that's pretty much it, man, trying to finish this fight quick. Excellent, now you talked about uh, you were gonna take a little time off, uh, but you jumped right, you're jumping right back into it. Uh, have you changed anything up in your training? Has, you know, uh, you were undefeated, a loss, sometimes is the best thing that can happen to a fighter. Uh, you learn a lot from it, and then you move on. Is that how you, how you see things now? Definitely, yep. definitely, man. I was getting a little too big for my britches. For some reason, I, I'm not even anywhere yet. I'm still, at C, I'm still like low, low in CES, and uh, I was thinking like I was un, unbeatable, which is uh, the way you lose, you know what I mean? So I wasn't, I wasn't, wasn't wrestling enough, wasn't doing enough jiu-jitsu, and I knew the kid was gonna wrestle, and I, I, don't, I just wanted the bang. So it's, it's just learning experience, learning experience. I uh, got back to my roots. I was a wrestler for a very long time, man. I, I, I wrestled all through high school. I've been, I wrestled all after that. Wrestling was all I loved to do. So I got back to that a little bit. You're gonna see everything that I was originally had, plus everything I have now, man. My hands are way better than they've ever been. My wrestling's way better than they've ever been. My jiu-jitsu's way better than it's ever been. So you're gonna see a composed killer in there and I'm, I'm coming to finish this fight. Finish. Excellent, excellent. Now uh, you're fighting David Garcia, uh, a veteran right there. The kid's, kid's pretty damn good. He fought uh, uh, on a previous CES card, had a good showing. Um, anything you see from him, you know what I mean? Is this, is this is this going to be a standout fight uh, showing that Chris is back? Are you going to make him in it kind of like an example? You said you don't want to talk too much, oh, but uh, coming off a loss, you really, you know, you're really going to have to show something with him, correct? Yeah, I want to. I want to show everybody that I am the best fighter in New England. Like that fight, that fight's off the table. Whatever that, whatever happened there, it happened. But I am the best fighter, and I'm going to show everybody that. This kid's a very, very dangerous opponent. He's, his record is misleading. Just like yeah. all, all these opponents that I'm fighting, their, their record's misleading. This kid has beat some really good kids. He has a lot of experience, a lot of amateur fights, a lot of pro fights. This kid has almost 20 fights in total of his, throughout his career. Like, the kid is very tough. He's very dangerous. He either, all his wins are by finish. Every, knockout or submission. All his losses are against very tough dudes. So, he even beat a, a very tough dude out of mass. He beat a, that kid, uh, Rico. Oh, he fought, Fischula. Yeah, yep. fought some really good dudes, and it, he uh, he's coming he's coming up he's coming to take take my head off. So my job is to get in there, beat him up, and uh, show everybody why I'm the best fighter in the world, and I am the best fighter. Excellent, excellent. Now uh, you know that that you know it's a little too early about the belt, but you were talking about that belt that's still out there in the 2018. Um, you know we're coming to a close here. Uh, a big win from you here puts you right back on the map. So what are we looking for, you know, not to get past this fight, but, you know, big things ahead for 2018. MMA is always growing. We got, you know, the UFC coming into town. We got that contender series. Uh, what are we looking for in 2018 as far as staying busy? Um, I'm just looking to get through this fight first. Yep. Get through this fight, finish this one. Um, if I can get, get, get con uh, considered for that title after this, that would be cool. If the UFC comes in and they're willing to take me on, let me get get let me get my shot. I'm down. But right now I'm gonna beat up David Garcia and then make everybody want me on the card again, man. Uh, everybody's 
forgetting about me already, and it's 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 gonna be a rude awakening when I start smashing people's heads open. Now that's a good thing when they forget about you. Yeah. Come out like it's, you know you come out and they they don't forget you anymore. But you're on a great card. You got you know a couple of training partners. You got Richie on there. You got Jose yeah. on there. You got a whole camp coming there uh, to kind of take over CES. Yeah, so um, I look forward to your to your fight yeah. back, man. Yeah, man, these are, these are my brothers, man. They're gonna they're gonna put on a show. We're gonna all put on a show. My boy Jose is a beast, man. He's it's his first pro fight, but the kid was a monster throughout his amateur career. The kid's one of the strongest dudes. Comes in here every day and just bangs out 40 pull ups like like it's nothing, dude. The dude is a monster. He's gonna kill this kid, Richie. Obviously, you saw his last fight, man. puts on a puts on one hell of a show. It doesn't matter. He's getting his head bashed in. He comes out and he wins. And this is this is going to be a great card. Plus all the other guys that are on this card that are that are fucking monsters. Huge, Sorry huge about card. Swearing, but so, that's a monster. So get your tickets and watch it. Man. Great card for you to get back on there, buddy. Great card. Uh, last thing, social media. How we get in touch with you? Any uh, sponsor shout outs? Whatever you we got to say. Yeah, man. First off, I want to thank my whole team at BST, man. My coaches, Rolando, Julio Colon, um, my girlfriend Blaze, all my teammates. So many of them that to name my coach, my coach Cap and Todd, all these guys, man, that helped me uh, get through it. All my sponsors that have helped me through all my career, man, I, I appreciate you all. So thank you. If you want to get in touch with me, I'm uh, on on Instagram, Rack City Chris. I'm on Facebook. You search up my name, dude. Send me a message. You need tickets? I got them. So please let me know. Excellent. Uh, we got about 10 days left or so about the, in this fight. Uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to it, man. One more, one more thing. Yeah, just throw it thank, out there. Thank you, brother. Thank oh. you for giving me the interviews, and I really appreciate everything that you do for the sport and everything you do for local Thank you very much. Thanks, my man. I appreciate it. I'll be seeing you on the 17th, bro. Seeing you. All right.